Well, tonight only on KDKA, chunks of concrete falling from a local bridge. Witnesses say pieces of the Fort Duquesne Bridge came raining down onto a walking path this morning. And it could be a sign of a bigger issue. John Shumway is live with what PennDOT is saying. John. Yeah, I'm standing right where it fell. You can still see some of the debris here in the walkway. That debris came from this when it fell and shattered. It is a very concerning incident, and PennDOT is taking it very seriously. The location could not be more concerning. Right in the North Shore Drive crosswalk, the heavy pieces of concrete landed and shattered. There was concrete laying on the ground. It could have hit a pedestrian, and we have to make sure we don't have any other loose concrete on the bridge deck to, so that doesn't happen. So before more could fall on its own, PennDOT hustled a bridge inspection crew to the location. We got up there right away today, knocked down any remaining loose concrete. On the underside of the Fort Duquesne Bridge, cracks are not unusual, many caused by winter salt getting to steel rebar and causing rust. And when that happens, then it pops the concrete off, and then that's what you're seeing left there. You don't need a bridge engineering degree to spot the patches that have been made. The areas that are adjacent to those repairs are the ones that are falling off. Next week, the crews will return for a full inspection of the Fort Duquesne Bridge, which means testing the exposed concrete inch by inch. You're taking a hammer and you're, you're hitting the concrete and, and checking for loose concrete. If you hear a dull sound to the concrete, then we're knocking that down. We'll, we'll keep hitting it until it comes down. That could result in lane closures on the bridge and road closures below, as well as sealing off parts of the parking lots. And this work won't be quick. It's going to be three to four days of work. Now, it is not an overstatement to say that had this hit someone, it could have had fatal results. This is just a symptom of what's going on up there with the Fort Duquesne Bridge. What this bridge needs is what we have seen on the Fort Pitt Bridge and more recently on the Liberty Bridge. It needs a total deck replacement, and it's coming. New at 6, we'll talk about when. Live on the North Shore, John Shumway, KDKA News.